What's going on everybody? This is Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics coming at you guys with another one. Um, on this one we have a 2015 7 Series BMW. A um, little bit of a backstory on this one. The customer ran it hot um, and kind of destroyed the original engine. The shop sent the engine out to be rebuilt. Um, got the engine back and now they're just working on a whole bunch of gremlin, gremlins. Um, I've already kind of diagnosed several things on the vehicle. This will be about the third time that I'm looking at the vehicle. Um, first time it had misfires on one and two and the pin tension on coils one and two were bad or, or loose. So I tightened those up, fixed one and two. Um, and then after that they had a, um, a whole bunch of Vanos codes for timing. Um, I found that the timing was out on this. Um, but then one thing came to another, they put uh, Vanos solenoids in it and the Vanos solenoids fixed the um, timing issues. But it hasn't been driven much since those solenoids were put in, so we're not 100% sure if that's going to fix it or not, or if the timing chains actually did stretch on this new engine. Um, but today what I'm looking at is a cylinder six misfire and it's got um, a steering issue where every time you start pulling forward and you steer just a little bit the um, traction control light will kick on and the little steering light will kick on so we're going to diagnose both those today i've already kind of started my diagnostic process on it um, i started last night and my good buddy justin morgan was kind of giving me some pointers on it um, he's an excellent bmw tech and but he kind of gave me pointers. We went and checked primary ignition on cylinder six, and then we also checked um, current ramp on six, and we compared them to a different cylinder. And what it's looking like so far on this one is the um, most likely either a spark plug is arcing um, and not creating its path and arcing to the cylinder wall somewhere, or maybe a sticking injector. Um, Right now, I'll post a picture of what the secondary kind of, or sorry, the primary look like. Um, as you can kind of see, it's not a good looking um, primary ignition. And so that's why I'm going to pull the plugs out. Um, Justin was explaining to me how these are known for, um, if you put cheaper plugs in it and you don't torque them properly, then you'll have some pretty bad misfires. Uh, and then as you'll see right now, um, here's a whole bunch of the codes that are in it. Some of those codes were set by me because um, I took out uh, cylinder two's ignition coil to compare to cylinder six because it looked like six has had an aftermarket coil on it. Um, and then it had a, um, a map sensor that I unplugged while I was messing with it. So the map sensor codes and that cylinder two misfire was created by me, but all the other ones were already in there. As you can see that there's a whole lot of the steering angle sensors. So we're gonna kind of get into it. I'm gonna figure out the misfire first, and then once we figure out the misfire, then I'm gonna go in and um, update you, and then we'll move from there on over to the steering issue. See if I can get this to focus in. So you can kind of tell that that one it has not been burning the fuel, and you can it's rich of fuel. It looks like they put a whole lot of anti seize on there. It kind of looks like. See if I can get it focus. I don't want to focus. Focus. There it goes. 
You can kind of see where there's some gunk built up in there. All right, so um, I'm gonna go, especially with these things being over torqued, um, then I wanna verify that this is the correct spark plug for the vehicle, because this thing is just covered in fuel, like it wasn't burning properly. And then as you could see in that secondary ignition that I had just a minute ago up on the screen, that it's not getting a high KV and um, the burn time, just everything, it wasn't all that great, so. Let me do a little bit of research and we might throw a set of plugs in it and give it a whirl. All right, so it's kind of early in the morning. Parts stores aren't open yet. So I kind of did the best that I could. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. Of cleaning that up, I got most, probably 90% of all of the NICs that was on the electrode itself. On the electrode itself off. Um, I'm going to put it back in, properly install it and see if this helps out our situation. If it does, then it looks like they're gonna have to have a set of plugs. Um, it does look like they put the factory plugs in it as far as what it calls for, um, but it might've just been an installation error as far as getting all the junk onto the spark plug. So I'm gonna install this real quick and we'll figure out if that made it any better or not. All right, so right now I got it warming up. It's in open loop status. Um, for the most part, it didn't start idling rough or having that misfire until it goes and closed the loop. So I'm let it warm up for a little bit and I'll get back with you guys to give you an update. So it's running, it's sit in it because on this one, you can feel the misfire at idle. So right now at idle, I mean, it's running it's fairly smooth. Um, check engine light's still on just because I haven't cleared the check engine light yet. Slight rough idle starting to pick up. Um, what I might do is clear the codes and just let it idle for a while and see if I can get any of them to come back. So when you're driving down the road, there was no misfires. It ran fine. It was just at idle. So I'm going to clear the codes and see if 6 is coming back. Alright, so this is cylinder 6's primary after I cleaned it. Um, it still doesn't look the best, but my oscillations down here at the end, they're actually there. As before, they were not. It just kind of tapered off. So I'm still thinking that this is a, a plug issue where they're going to have to get new plugs. Um, I'm about to load into another spark plug on their primary and compare it and we'll just see. Alright, so now the vehicle kind of went into a hard misfire. And red is cylinder 2, blue is uh, 6 still. As you can see that swoop kind of came back. It looks like it's running rich and not burning all the way. And sometimes it's not burning at all. So. I'm going to say it's a secondary ignition issue, whether it's in the plug or that uh, coil, because the coil is aftermarket. Uh, All right, so it's later on in the day. Uh, I went out and did some mobile jobs, but I'm back on this piece. I did a little bit of Swaptronics just to kind of rule some stuff out. Uh, I swapped cylinder six's plug to cylinder two and then swapped the coils with cylinder six and cylinder one just to kind of see if I could get a misfire to follow. There was no misfires that followed. Everything's still on six. Um, with the plugs being as saturated as they are on just six, the rest of them were fine, uh, all the other ones I checked. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards possibly a stuck open injector, um, or partially. Uh, 
I'm going to do an in cylinder just to verify any type of timing issues or not necessarily timing issues, but just engine mechanical on that cylinder itself. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, all right. So next step on the vehicle is we're going to do an in cylinder test. Um, from what I'm gathering, the injectors are hard to dynamically test because as soon as the DME senses a misfire, it shuts down the injectors to stop any type of flow going through for catalyst damage and reasons. Um, Justin Morgan, like I told you, was kind of helping me out. He said, just double check crankcase pressure as well whenever you do your end cylinder. So that's what we did. I didn't have a tool. So need a tool, make a tool. I printed a little adapter to put in here for checking crankcase pressure. And then I'm using my ATS negative 30 um, pressure transducer. All right, so as you can tell, new shirt, new day. Um, this one's kind of been on my back burner as far as trying to get it diagnosed. Uh, but we've got a conclusion on the misfire. Um, it's kind of a combination of a few different things that's causing it. Uh, number one and main issue, I will show some screenshots right now. Um, <clears throat> known good running compression on this vehicle should be roughly 85 to 90 PSI. Uh, this vehicle in question is actually on the misfiring cylinder, cylinder six, I've got 150 PSI and on cylinder one, um, I checked for a known good for the vehicle is 120. So either way you look at it, we're running anywhere from about 40 to about 30, 30 to 40 to as high as, what is that? 70. Uh, so it's way, way, way high compression. Um, and if you look at those known goods that I'm posting right now, you can kind of see where timing is off by roughly 20 degrees. Now that timing, if you look at the cam and crank correlation that I have, timing is spot on in the reluctor, but it is not spot on mechanically. So how does that happen? Uh, this vehicle, whenever you do the timing, you're supposed to lock the cams in place and then you put the Vanos and reluctors on the front of it, tighten it up. Maybe that didn't happen. I don't know. Maybe they didn't lock the cams properly. Not sure. But that's the whole reason for the main misfire. Uh, here's a picture of the secondary ignition or primary on this case. Um, as you can kind of tell, it's uh, it doesn't look right. Um, after speaking with Jim Morton, he's saying it's kind of a culmination of a few different things, but a lot of it has that higher compression is causing that. Um, but then also um, it might have uh, a slight faulty injector as well as the plugs themselves are not proper for the vehicle. Um, either way we go about it, the engine needs to be tore down to uh, at least try and get the cams in time. But if you look at this picture right here, you can tell that the um, oil is full of metal shavings. So uh, we're going to have to just put a knife in this one and it's done. So um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you guys have any questions or um, ideas on how you would have went about this misfire, feel free to let me know. Um, thank you guys. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And always remember, did you diag today, bro? Shut up and sit down.